Welcome to Carvinci Reason. Today I will show you how to create these viral 3D reels like huge and cold in DaVinci Reason. I will show you all the basics to create 3D animations so you can use it for your own clip. My mission is to help editors create stunning masterpieces without spending even one pound or wasting endless hours with editing. So I will show you really fast how you can do that without wasting any time. To create it, you need at least two images. On the top, I only have my color grade, which I will deactivate for now. Select everything you want in your 3D animation, right click and select new fusion clip. Go with that clip into the fusion page. Now you have two media in. Delete the merge node and the line and drag media in one into the left and media in two into the right viewer. If you don't have two viewer, click on this icon right here. Now rename the nodes. I will rename that one background. The second one I will just call guy. Before we put that into 3D space, I have to make some adjustments. I created both images with AI and then I removed the background to separate the guy and there I had some mistakes that I want to fix now. For that I will drag in a rectangle mask and put it into the blue input of the guy. And then I will adjust it so I will only see the guy without these lines right here. Just like that. If you want to make some other adjustments on the images, then you have to do that before you put it into 3D space. But for me, both pictures look good. Now to put them into 3D space, you need an image plane 3D. You can find that right here. So click on the first node and click on this icon. Then click on the second node and add an image plane too. To connect both of them, add a merge 3D. Then connect the image plane of the background into the merge as well. But now you can't put the merge 3D into the media out. In order to do that, you have to add a render 3D node before. Just click on this icon and now you can put it into the media out. Drag the media out into the viewer and drag the merge 3D into the left viewer. Now you are in 3D space. You can move around with the middle mouse button. If you hold ALT, then you can rotate with the middle mouse button. If you hold CTRL and scroll, then you can zoom out and in. And if you only scroll, you can go up and down. These are basically all controls you need to know. So now, as you can see, in the media out, we can only see the background. To fix that, go to the merge 3D and hit Control T. Now we can also see the guy. But before we adjust the position, we need to add a camera 3D. So drag and drop it into the node field and connect it also into the merge. Now we can see nothing. That's because the camera is in our pictures. To fix that, drag the camera back all the way but not so far so you can see the transparency. If you can see this gray field right here, move the camera forward, just like that. And now before we create the animation, we need to create some space between the two pictures. So select the image plane of the guy and move it to the camera. So it is in the middle between the camera and the background. Then go to the transform and decrease the scale. Now adjust the position and the scale how you want. I will put them right here. And now if you move the camera left or right, you can already see the parallax effect we created. That's the effect which makes this 3D animation so cool. Hit Ctrl C to reset the camera position. 
we have to make sure that the camera always looks at our background. To make that easier, check this checkbox to use a target. Then this point on this picture will spawn. That's the point where the camera will always look at. Just leave it there. And now we can already start to create our animation. To do that, go into the camera 3D. To transform, go to the very first frame and create a keyframe on every translation slider and rotation slider except for the first one. Now go to the end and put the camera there where you want to be it on the end. So I will move it forward behind the character so I can only see the black of the background. But I will also put it down a little bit. In the beginning I want the camera to be a little more up. And now if I scroll through the animation, I think it looks good. But in the middle I want to create a curve so the camera goes around the character. To do that I go to the middle and move the camera to the right. Just like that. And now my animation looks good. But to smooth that animation out, go to the spline editor, check the camera 3D box, click on this icon to see all the points, select them all and hit S on your keyboard. Now all animation are smooth. Now this looks already really good, but to take this to the next level, we will put some particles in the 3D space. For that, drag a particle emitter into the node field and a particle render. Connect them and connect the particle render into the merge 3D. Now in the particle emitter, under region, we can control where we want the particles to be. I want it to be a cube because I want to have a whole room with particles. So increase the width to 1.5, the height to 2 and the depth to 5. Now you can already see in 3D space where the particles are. But I want the particles to be in between the background and the camera, so I will move the set offset. Just like that. The reason why you can't see particles in the media out is because you are on the very first frame. If we go a little bit forward, you can see some particles. But we want to change the style of the particles so we can see them better. So go to style and choose blob, decrease the size and I will also change the size over life so they will get smaller the longer they live and I will also fade it in and out. Now you can go to the controls and change the number of particles you want, the lifespan I will change that to about 60 and many other things. But first of all, we need to fix that the particles are not in the beginning of the clip. To fix that, go to the render and increase the pre-generate frames. Now you can see that the particles will already spawn in the first frame. But now the particles are just standing there in the air. But we want to make them move a little bit. For that go to the particle emitter and increase the velocity. Now you can already see them moving. 
but now they move to the right. To change that, change the angle Z to 90. Now they will move to the camera. You can also increase the angle a little bit and the angle variance. Now the particles will also move. That's basically it for this animation and you can of course add way more images by just connecting the image plane of other images into the 3D merge. With that you can create very complex 3D animations like hues and cold. But I will now show you how you can loop this animation that we just created. For that go back to the edit page and now I will activate my color grade so it will look way cooler. I will make that longer and I will duplicate that clip by holding alt and dragging it up and then I will move it to the right just like that and fade the clip on the top a little bit in. Now if you play it you will have a really cool transition. If you liked that tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials and check out this playlist right here to get free plugins and presets for different car effects. See you in the next one.